Welcome to Introduction to Statistics, Math 227S, and I'm your instructor, Yin Yi Lam. You guys can call me Miss Lam or Professor Lam. This is a five-week course which begins on Monday, June 14, and the last day will be on Friday, July 16. You are taking five unit online class in the five weeks. You will learn 12 chapters in this class, meaning that you will have 12 chapters of homework, quiz, and extra credit. Also, you do have a free midterms and one final. You need to finish all of them within five weeks. Sounds like pretty crazy, right? I want to remind you guys that you will be very busy in these five weeks. You need to spend at least five hours a day to watch the video lecture, complete the homework assignment, and take the exam for the course. This is an online course that requires students to be self-motivated and plan the work ahead. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, this class will be conducted remotely and online with no required virtual schedule meetings. I'm looking forward to meet with you in campus to and explore all the fun in this statistic course. If you have any concern regarding to the material, you can contact me by leaving a message for Canvas or by school email. I'll be checking Canvas and email every day and get back to you within 24 hours, except Saturday and Sunday. Now, let's look at the syllabus. Okay, this is my email address. You guys have any questions regarding to the material or the homework, feel free to email me. And our lectures will be on my classroom. Office hour, I set it up on the Friday at 1 to 2 p.m. by appointment. But if you are not available at that time, feel free to email me. I will set another time to hold the office hour with you. Textbook, Elementary Statistics. 13th edition by Trey Roller. You don't have to purchase the physical textbook because we'll be using the person online, the My Stat Lab homework, and they come with the e textbook. Okay, course description. This is what we're going to learn for this semester. And online course. This course is an online course. The online component of the course will be full canvas, has our online classroom, and all the materials and activities will be offered asynchronously, meaning the students can access them anytime. So we don't meet with each other at specific time. Instead, I will post all the notes, PowerPoint, video lecture in canvas, so you guys can review it by yourself. How to log into the canvas. So if you are new students, please follow these instructions, how to log into your campus. But I guess most of you guys um, should have experience to using in campus. If you have a difficulty to log in because of the student ID or password, you may want to contact the ENET technical support. I can help you guys to find out your student ID or help you to reset the password. Okay, calculator. We need a calculator for this class. I would recommend using the TI-83 plus or TI-84 plus. All my notes will be based on these two calculators to give you guys the instruction how to use it. If you have other graphic calculator like the TI-89 plus, uh, feel free to use it, but I may not know how to do it, so you may want to Google it by yourself. We need the calculator during the lecture, uh, quiz, midterm, and finals. And if you want to buy the new one, please buy the TI-84+. My Stat Lab homework. We'll be using My Stat Lab as my online homework. And homework is really important of learning mathematics. And we will have a 12 chapters in the My Stat Lab. And students should complete the My Stat Lab online assignment through Canvas, meaning that you want to log into the Canvas, click on the homework link, and they will redirect you to the My Stat Lab. So when you register for it, you want to log into the Canvas also. I will show you guys the details how to log in 
to the MyStep level canvas. And you don't need the course ID to register MyStep lab. Okay, don't email me, ask me the course ID. I don't even know what, what is my course ID. You just need to log into the canvas, click on the My Lab and Master Ring in order to register. And the quiz also, we will have an online quiz from the MyStat Lab. Same idea, after you register the MyStat Lab, you could click on the canvas, uh, click on the quiz, and they will redirect you to the MyStat Lab. We do have a 12 quiz in the course. And for the quiz, you only have one attempt and they have the time limits, okay? For the homework, um, they do have the due date, but you have unlimited attempt. So you can redo the homework until you get the 100% for it. Okay, portorial. We'll be using the portorial online exam, the portorial service in this course. And portorial is a software extension in Chrome, okay? Means you need using the Google Chrome browser. You can't use the Safari, Firefox, or Internet Explorer. You only can use the Google Chrome, okay? And you need to use your computer, your webcam, and also the microphone in order to take the exam. And you must have a strong and stable internet connection for Portorio to work well. And I will be assigned some extra credit so you can become familiar with using the portal wheel. And if you want to know more details, feel free to click on this link. And after that, I will show you guys uh, how to use the portal wheel to take the extra credit. Midterms. There are three midterms will be given for the course of the semester. And the midterm will be available on a specific day from 8 a.m to 11.59 p.m. And you do have a four hours to complete the exam once it is start and it can only be attempt once. Please start the exam no later than 8 p.m. if you want to have a full four hours window. Within the four hours window, you have to download the exam, print the exam, finish the exam and submit it as one PDF file in Canvas. And there is absolutely no makeup test will be offered. However, the lowest midterm score will be dropped. So make sure you do have three midterm. First midterm, chapter one to chapter three. Midterm two, chapter four to chapter six. Midterm three, chapter seven to chapter nine. Again, there's a no makeup midterm will be offered. So make sure you will be available on that day to take the midterm. For the midterms, I will give you guys a sample midterm. Make sure you guys work on it before you take the midterm. The sample midterm is really similar to your midterm. If you know how to do it, you will be get a good grade on your midterm. Extra credits. Students will be given the opportunity to complete extra credit assignment. You only have one attempt. Details are in Canvas. You will get the extra credit for each chapter. Okay, late penalties. All online assignments have a due date in Canvas. Online assignment means like the MyStyleLab homework and quiz. You can compete at any time. However, the total possible score will be discounted at a rate of 10% per day past the due date. Meaning that we do have the due date for the homework and the quiz. If you pass the due date, you still can work on it, but you will receive a 10% penalty per day. Okay. For example, if I work on assignment past the due date, the first day I will receive the 10% penalty. Meaning that if I get 100 points because I work one day past the due date, I will get only 90 points instead. If I work on my assignment two days past for the due date, I will get like 20% off. So if I get perfect, I only get 80 points instead of 100. An assignment like the extra credit and excerpt will not be accepted after the due date. Final exam. I set it up, the final will be on Friday, July 16th, that will be online also. And the final is going to be accumulated from chapter 1 to chapter 12. And the final exam 
is part of your course requirement so you have to take the final in order to pass this course so make sure you will be available on that day and that's a no makeup final great component homework is going to be 10 percent quiz is going to be 10 percent midterms 50 percent you do have a free midterms but you could drop the lowest one so meaning that you do have a 25 percent for each midterm and final that will be 30 percent and extra credit that will be in canvas that's a five percent so you could add it up you would see that's a 105 percent for total grading scale so 89.5 or above you're gonna get an a 79.5 to 89.4 you're gonna get a b 69.5 to 79.4 that will be get a c and then 59.5 to 69.4 percent you're gonna get a d so below 59.4 you're gonna get the F in here okay attendance attendance is not required for the online class however it is your responsibility to watch all the video lectures finish the homework assignment take quiz and the midterm before the due date if you are not active to the class such as not finishing homework not taking any quiz on the midterms and missing all the deadlines I may assume that you are no longer with this class, so I may drop you from this course. So let me know if something happened on you and you didn't like do the homework or take the quiz. Email me, okay? Okay, academic honesty policy. Don't cheat on my class. Feel free to find a study partner to work on the homework and extra credit or even watch the video lecture together. But for the quiz and the midterm, it should be close book and do it by yourself okay if i find it out you're cheating your class you're gonna get zero on that assignment and i will be referring you to the math department for the further action okay dropping the class students are responsible for dropping the class failure to do so may result in a grade of f in this class if you are no longer with this class Please drop it by yourself. Math Tutoring Center. Math Tutoring Center will offer the remote tutoring full Zoom. So this is the details about the math lab and the hours of operation from Monday to Thursday, 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Friday, Saturday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Okay, disability. If you guys need extra help, uh, please let me know. I will try my best to assist you. Okay, some helpful hints with regards to taking an online course. I think most of you guys should have experience for the online course due to the spring semester, right? But I want to remind you guys some important notes in here with the course syllabus this is so important make sure you understand all the course policy when the quiz homework the due date and be aware of the important due dates print it out the syllabus with the schedule highlight the due date for each week if you have any questions about the course policy contact me through canvas or by email number two Pay attention to the deadlines and the assignment dates. This is big. When you don't check for the class update or get your assignment in on time, it is very easy to fall behind in the class. And don't be afraid to ask questions. There are no dumb questions in academic. Most of the time, your confusion is shared with your peers. So asking questions not only benefit yourself, but also your classmate. You can email me in Canvas. And each week, Check your weekly overview schedule for the homework assignment. Give yourself plenty of time to turn in the assignment, participate in discussion, and take rest. Don't wait until last minute to turn in assignment. Okay? I know I said the due date is 11.59 p.m., but please don't start working on your homework at 11 p.m. Okay? One hour may not be enough for you, and sometimes you have some technical issue maybe uh, you don't have an internet at that time maybe my stat lab is under instruction okay so don't wait until last minute to turn in your homework 
and burning the midnight hours just level canvas. And last one, do not expect immediate response to the questions. Just because this is an online class does not mean that your instructor is always online and available. Okay, I do have my family, I have a two kids to take care. I will try my best to reply your email within 24 hours. But if that's a weekend, you may want to wait until on Monday. Okay. Important days. Today, June 14, Monday, day and evening class begin. After you guys watch the syllabus and course information video, I want you guys look at the canvas, try to download the natural notes, watch the video lecture, and also you could try the temporary access for the that lab homework. I want you guys to see if you like the format that I teach. If you don't like it, you could drop the class with a full refund before Wednesday, June 16. And then after that, you do have a two drop deadline. Last day to drop class online without the W will be on June 19, Saturday. And then last day to drop the class online with the W, that will be on June 9, 10, okay? And we do have the final exam on June 9, 16, Friday. Final exam, please highlight this day. Now let's look at the schedule, the five weeks schedule. I want you guys print it out, put it on your desk or put it on your binder. Stick to this schedule, these five weeks. Okay, we have only five weeks, but we do have 12 chapters and we do have a free midterms and one final. Meaning that you need to work on this class like every day. You will assume you're going to spend at least like five hours to six hours every day, okay? So the first day today, Monday, after you wait on the syllabus, you're going to work on the session 1.1, 1.2, and 1.3. You will log into the canvas, print out the natural notes, session 1.1, 1.2, and 1.3. After you have done your notes ready, Watch the video lecture. I do have some classwork on the notes. I want you guys to do it with me. You don't need to turn in the classwork, okay? But that's a good practice to see if you understand the materials. After you watch all the video lecture, finish the classwork, then you could start work on your homework, okay? That would be the best practice. Print out the notes, watch the video lecture, and then start working on your homework. You could see chapter one to chapter three homework, quiz, and extra credit that will be due on this Sunday, June 20 at 11.59 p.m. So please don't wait until last minute. After you guys watch all the chapter one, start working on the chapter one homework, quiz, and extra credit. And then Tuesday, you're gonna work on two sessions. Session 2.1 and 2.2. Again, once you finish one session or two sessions, you could start working on your homework. Wednesday, 2.3, 3.1. You could see for the first week, we almost cover three chapters already. Okay, so make sure you're going to work on this class every day. If you didn't work on one or two day, you will have a one or two chapter to take care of it in a day. And then you could see, um, I highlight it, that will be on Sunday, due day, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, homework. Okay, this is the session homework. You need to work on it on the MyStat Lab. You need to take out the quiz, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. Um, remind you guys that the homework, you, do, you don't have the time limit. You have unlimited attempt before the due date. For the quiz, you only have one attempt. And also, they do have a time limit. Usually, I set it up like 16 minutes or 90 minutes for the quiz. And you can see that's an extra credit. Remember, EC means extra credit. You guys should work on the extra credit, the zero, 00. This is going to be the course information quiz. That's only related to your syllabus or some questions in Canvas. And then extra credit for 01, extra credit for 02 means extra credit for chapter 1, extra credit for chapter 2, extra credit for chapter 3. 
I would recommend you guys work on the session homework chapter 1, 1 1.1, 1.2, 1.3 and then work on the extra credit. After you're done, then you could work on the quiz. And then for the next week, I want you guys highlight this day. The Tuesday will be on the midterm 1, chapter 1 to chapter 3. So I want you guys watch all the video lecture from chapter 1, chapter 3, finish the homework and quiz and extra credit. Then you're going to start work on your sample midterm. Again, the sample midterm is really similar to the midterm 1. If you know how to do it, you should be getting a good grade on midterm 1. I always get a loss of the A and B on the midterm one, okay? And then next Sunday, that will be chapter four and chapter five, two chapters homework due and quiz also. Midterm two, that will be on the third week, okay? That will be on Wednesday. Okay, and also for the last week, you do have the midterm fee and also the final exam. I know that that will be a lot for a week, but if I put the midterm free on the June 9th, I don't think you guys have enough time to work on the homework and the quiz also. So I have to put the midterm free on this day. Final exam is going to be on June 9th, 16. Highlight this day. That will be the online final exam. The exam will going to be available from 8 to 11.59 p.m. But you only have a four hours to work on the exam. Final exam is the part of the requirement for this course. You have to take the final exam in order to pass this course. Okay, this is the school policy. Let me know if you guys have any questions regarding to the schedule or syllabus. Email me. Okay. When you log into the campus, you're going to see that this is the course information. And you won't be able to click on any link in here, right? You have to first click on the syllabus. Put the syllabus one more time by yourself. Print it out again. Make sure you have the last page of the schedule. Follow the schedule, okay? After you print it out, click on the home Okay, you're gonna see that's a tick here. It means I wrote the syllabus already. Now, you should be able to click on this link. Welcome to Math227S Syllabus and Course Information. Click on it. You will see the video for your syllabus and course information. Click on the play. And after you watch the video, click on the right button here. Mark has done. Okay. You could see the done in here. So now I'm going to click on the home again. If you are new in Canvas, you may want to watch the introduction to Canvas. Okay. Click on the home again. Okay, now you're going to see the use iPhone has a scanner or use cam scanner has a scanner. I'm going to talk about these two guys later. Now you're going to see the EC00. This is the extra credit. I want you guys to participate this extra credit because the format is going to be similar to your midterm. Okay, one more time. I want all of you guys to participate the extra credit. The format is really similar to your midterm. And you're going to see that remotely proctored. Okay, you're going to click on it. And this extra credit is going to be 5 points. And you do have a 12 question. They do have the time limit. 90 minutes, 1 hour and 30 minutes. I give you guys 2 attempts because I want you guys to try on it. Make sure you guys understand the format for your midterm and final. Okay, I want you guys to read it by yourself here. And you need the student ID, okay? You need your student ID or your California ID to verify your identity. And if you are being asked for a quiz access code, you are probably not using the correct browser, okay? They do have the requirement. You have to use the Google Chrome, okay? You can use the Safari, uh, you can use the Firefox or Internet Explorer. If you don't have this browser, 
Google it and download the Google Chrome. You need the Google Chrome to access the quiz. If you guys have any questions, feel free to call this technical support number. Okay. So the first step, what you need to do using the Google Chrome, and you're going to see the extension is required. So I'm going to click on here. Once you click on it, first use Google Chrome. I did use the Google Chrome, right? So I'm done for the first part. Step two, you need to install the Chrome extension. So click here. Click on here. Make sure you allow the pop-up window. And then you're going to see this is Add to Chrome. Okay, so click on it, Add to Chrome. Okay, so I'm going to add extension here. They say, Portavio has been added to the comb. Okay, now I'm going to go back here. So I'm done for the step one, step two, and step three. Okay, so I, you have to finish this three step in order to take the quiz. Okay, now I'm going to go back here. Okay, there are 12 questions, 11 questions are multiple choice, true or false, or multiple answer questions. The last question is require file upload. You have a 90 minutes and one attempt for this quiz. Okay, again, I give you guys the two attempts and they're going to take the highest one. So first, take the quiz. Okay, we will tell you when we start and stop recording. And only your exam admin can see what is recorded. Decisions are made by your exam admin, not us, okay? So go down here, they say, before you can continue, please do the following. Multiple display screens detected. Please disable all but one monitor. Since I have uh, more than one monitor, so they don't let me to take the quiz. I have to remove one of the monitor. Okay, now I could start the exam. Now they're gonna chat on it. I do have the webcam and they are checking on the microphone. Okay, the next one, I need to share my entire screen. So I click on this screen, I'm going to share this screen, share. So they check my internet connection, they check if I share my desktop, my screen here. Good, right? Okay, say Portorio is sharing your screen. So this screen is going to be shared. Okay, right? Okay, your exam is about to begin. Use restroom. If you want to go to restroom, go to restroom now. Get water. Okay, make sure you, are, you, you feel comfortable and get ready. Okay, if you don't see yourself in here, click on this link. I see myself in here. So I'll click on next. Okay, identification card. I need to see your photo ID. Either student ID or color phone ID. Make sure you have your own picture and your name on it. So let me see. Okay, I have the. I don't want to show you guys my photo ID, so I will just give like something on it. For you guys, when you take um your exam, I need to see your student ID or your color phone ID. Okay, make sure you see everything from here. Again, I'm not using my ID. So I just put on next. Okay, webcam image test. So I could begin the camera test. Smile. Okay, so I have a good picture here and I accept. I could begin my test now. This is how you guys gonna take your midterm and final. Okay, let's say if I try to open an ad, another browser and click on something else. Okay, let me search something. Oops, see? 
I'm not allowed to open another new tab or another window. If I try to open another browser, they lock it. Okay, because when you guys taking the exam, it has to be closed book and closed note, and you can't do anything search online. Okay, they restrict you only have a one window in here. Okay, question one. This extra credit is regarding for the course information. If you watch the video about the course information, you will your syllabus, you should be able to answer all these questions. I may work with another student on my exam. True or false? No, right? It's always close book and do it by yourself. I may work with another student on my quiz. No, right? Okay, so you should be able to answer all those questions. Okay, here. When I turn in the paper assignment like exams in Canvas, how many PDF files I can upload? I didn't talk about this guy yet, but keep in mind, you only can upload one PDF file, okay? One PDF file. Okay, now I want you guys to look at the question three and question four here. You can see from these questions, they do have the square checkbox in here. But here, you have a circle checkbox. You guys know what's the difference between these two? For this one, for the square one, means you can get a multiple answer. Okay, you could choose more than one answer. But for the circle here, means you only have a one answer. Okay, if you put like, at the end of the cast, you can't choose other thing else. Okay, see the difference, right? Okay, answer all those questions. You're going to see for the last question, follow this instruction. Print it out the three pages document. Write down your name on the document. Combine the three pages document into one PDF file. Okay, you do have a three pages. I need you guys combine it into one PDF file and submit here. Okay, don't email me your exam. You have to submit it in here. And name the file format has first name, last name. And we are working on the extra credit 00. For example, my name is Yin Lam, Yin Yi Lam. So my first lamp, last lamp, and I'm working on extra credit 00 here. You can see that is a PDF file here, and that's a Microsoft Word document file in here. Um, they are exactly the same thing, but some students, they don't have a PDF, so I just attach one more format for you guys. Okay, so I could download it. Download it. Okay, I download this one, click on it. After you download it, you do have a few pages. Okay, one, two, three. I don't want you guys combine it into one page. Okay, I word it purposely. There are three pages. Use write down your name and use the pen to finish this worksheet. Once you are done, use a scanner to scan into PDF documents or use a cell phone to take a picture of the worksheet. So print it out, use the pen to work on this paper. After you're done, if you have a scanner at home, that's good. Just scan it. Make sure you combine it into one PDF file. If you don't have the scanner at home, don't worry. You could use your cell phone to take a picture. Okay. And under the upload, you can click choose a file to upload your worksheet. So answer this free question. Introduce yourself. Why? Are you taking this course? What is done here? What do you hope to become in the future? Number three, let us know one other interesting fact about yourself. Okay, again, we have three pages. Don't combine it into one pages. I want you guys print it out, write down your answer, use your scanner or your cell phone to combine it to one PDF file. And after I'm done, make sure you rewrite this one. Okay, my first name, last name, and we are working on extra credit zero zero. Okay, we name it first name, last name, extra credit zero zero. Okay, I'm done for all those questions. Let's say I'm done everything here. Okay, and 
I'm gonna choose a file. I upload it here. Find it out. My first name, last name, extra credit, open. Okay, your file has been successfully uploaded. Okay, make sure you see that. Now I'm gonna submit my quiz. And they say you have six un and answer questions. Okay, I'm gonna double check. Oh, I didn't do this couple questions. Okay, I don't know how to do it. I will let you guys do it. So I'm gonna click on submit quiz. Okay. Okay, this is the current score. Okay, the last question I need to grade it in order to give you guys the score. Okay, so don't worry if you didn't get it perfect. So this is the same format, just like the midterm one, midterm two, midterm three, and final. Every time when you take the exam, you need to add the extension. You need to show me your picture ID. You're going to take the picture. You need the webcam. You need the speaker. You need to share the desktop with me. And um, midterm questions going to be similar like the sample midterm. You have a couple questions like true or false, multiple choice, numerical questions. For the last question, is you are required to have a file upload. Okay, if you don't have the printer, that is fine. You could just write down your answer on a piece of the paper and then use your scanner or use your cell phone to combine it to one PDF file. Okay, once you're done for the extra credit here, you're gonna see that for the course information, I have a tick here. Means I will my syllabus. I watched the video of the syllabus and course information. And also I'm done for my extra credit for the course information. And remember for the last question of the extra credit, you need to do the file upload. And I say, um, if you have the scanner at home, that's good, you could just use the scanner scan fee pages, document, and combine it into one PDF file. But if you don't have the scanner, you could use your iPhone has a scanner. You could click on this link. I teach you guys how to use your iPhone has a scanner. Okay, you could watch this video. And you may say, hey, I don't have an iPhone, so what can I do? So, if you have the smartphone, you could use the app called Cam Scanner. Okay, you could download it from the App Store. It is free. So click on it. And I show you guys the video how to use the app. The Cam Scanner has a scanner. So if you don't have the scanner at home and you want to use the smartphone has a scanner, feel free to watch these two videos. And once I'm done for the extra credit, I could double check on my grade. Click on the grade in here. You can see extra credit here. I do have the work in here. This is means instructor is working on the grades. Remember for the last questions, I need to grade it. Okay, it won't be automatically grade. So you don't have to grade right now. And for the grade, you could try the what if grade in here. For example, let's say my chapter one quiz, I'm not, I didn't working on it yet, but I assume I get the 10 points. Okay, out of 12 points. Or the homework, let's say I missed the homework. I got zero, I missed the first homework. So you could see the what if grade in here. Now, my grade is only 41.67%, means I'm failing. So what I need to do? I may need to work hard on my midterm one. Let's say my midterm, I got 80 points out of 100. So you can see I'm passing right now. So this is called what if grade. So if you want to know how can you pass this class, you could just try and plug in the numbers in here. Okay, and then we're gonna kick back to the home here. Once I'm done for the syllabus, the course information and the extra credit, you meet the prerequisites. So you could keep going. This is called the study skills. You could take click on it. This is the 10 rules of good studying. Okay, feel free to read it. And the next one, 10 rules of bad studying. So you can see how many points you hit on here also. Okay, click on the home. You will see um, 
the introduction to statistics. This is for the chapter one. Okay, first, I want you guys to take on the notes. This is the notes session 1.1. Okay, print it out. Okay, print it out the notes. And you can see there's a, some password in here. You don't need to turn it in. Okay, this is the practice while you guys watching um, on the video lecture. Print it out. And then click on the video lecture for the session 1.1. Okay, those video I do it by myself. Click on it. This is the video lecture for the session 1.1. I need you guys have your notes ready. Okay, drop some notes on it and then do the classwork with me while you're watching the video lecture. Once you're done for the session 1.1, you could see there's a session 1.1 homework. But before you're working on the homework, you need to register my math lab. So go to here, my lab and mastery. Click on here. You're gonna see, you're gonna see open my lab and mastery. Click on it. Make sure you allow the pop up window. And this is uh, the license agreement with it. And I'm gonna accept. If you don't have the person account, feel free to create a new one. But when you create it, make sure you put your official name. Okay, don't put your nickname or initial on it. And write down your password, your username, and also your email address. If you already have the person account, you could just log in from here. Okay, you do have a free option. Either you purchase the physical textbook and they come with the access code. I don't really recommend this one because I know it's really expensive when you get the textbook come with the access code. Or you could buy from this one. Okay, use the credit card or PayPal. And this is for the lifetime, $114. And they come with the e textbook. Okay, or the option free, you could feel free to use this one. This is the student access is only good for 18 weeks. We do have a 16 weeks for a semester, so this one should be good enough. It's going to be $79.99. Or you may think about it, hey, I don't know if this class is good for me. I'm not sure if I like those format. So you could try to get the temporary access without payment for 14 days. Okay, This is good for two weeks only. So you could try on it. Use the temporary access, make sure you like this class, and then you could pay for it. Okay, now I'm gonna click on temporary access. So make sure this is temporary access is for the map 227S for this session number. So I'm gonna click on yes. And they will redirect you to the my stat lab. So this is my course, my lamb. Go to my course. So you can see we do have a e test. If you guys want to read the test book, feel free to do so. Click on the e test. Will the e test? Okay, I agree to the terms of use. So this is gonna be your test book in here. Okay, click on here, click on the menu. I could whip my chapter one, session 1.1. Okay, you could use the tools from here. You could use two pages instead of the single page. You could close this one. Okay. And you could search the content here. Wait, the next page. Feel free to read the test book from here. And also I could click on the chapter contents. I have the chapter one. 
That's a some homework quiz a study pen. Okay, you could watch this video also. Okay, now after I register my stat lab, I could go back to my canvas. Click on the home again. You could click on the session one point one homework. Okay, you could see the due date and total points here. I didn't assign a lot of the question for each session of the homework. So you have unlimited attempts per questions. After the due date, you still can work on it, but you do have a 10% late penalty. And that's a due date here also. So you could click on the questions from here. Okay, with your questions uh, and, and take the advantage of the question help in here. Click on here, you could read the test book or ask my instructor. And some questions, they could show you an example or teach you how to do it. Let's go back to well, session 1.2 homework. Okay, for example, session 1.2 homework, I could click on the question how. You could see, help me solve this or will an example. Okay, if you get stuck on the homework, take advantage for this question help. Okay, you could will an example. They're going to show you a similar example and teach you do it like step by step. Okay, or say help me to solve this. Okay, they're going to ask you the question teach you step by step to finish the homework. Okay, so pin out the notes, watch the video lecture, finish the homework. Okay, session 1.1 to 1.3. And after you're done, you could work on the extra credit. You're going to see the extra credit is going to be remotely. So you're going to add the extension, click on it. Since for the extra credit, the course information are at the extension for the Google Chrome already. So I don't have to do it again. So I would just take the quiz, show my student ID, and take the picture, share the screen, and then you could work on the extra credit. And again, I give you guys two attempts. I just want you guys practice the format that will be similar to the midterms and final. So for this week, I need you guys watch the video of the course information, do the extra credit for the course information, print out all those notes, watch the video lecture. If you have time, work on the homework also. The chapter one homework that will be due on Sunday before 11, 15, 9 p.m. And then next, you guys gonna work on the chapter two here, okay? So chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, and then you're going to see this is the formula for the midterm one. Click on it. The midterm, that will be cold spoke and cold notes, but you could use this formula. Okay, for your midterm. And also, you have the sample midterm in here. I highly recommend you guys, after you guys study for chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3, print out the sample midterm. Just try to do it on your own, close book, close notes. Sample midterm is really similar to your midterm. If you know how to do this, you should be get a good grade on the midterm one. And make sure you follow the instruction, like for the question 5 here, 1 to 2 decimal space. Make sure you want two decimal space if necessary. Okay, with the question carefully. Okay, this is the sample midterm one. I will post the solution later on. And then you're gonna see that's a ELAB tutoring. Click on it. Choose the math lab here. They will have the hours of operation and you could make a one-on-one -on -one tutoring appointment if you guys get stuck in here. 
okay? You could also email me or send a message through the canvas. Let me know if you have any questions regarding for this class. One more time, stick to my schedule. Don't wait until last minute and make sure you guys download the notes, watch the video lecture, finish the homework every week. I believe we will have a wonderful semester.